we mentioned, many kids back to school or heading back soon with worrying or concern about recent school shooting incidents. But the Beach Grove School District is trying to be proactive with a comprehensive plan that addresses both security and mental health. News 8's Elizabeth Troy has more on just what they're doing. School is back in full swing. That's evident on Central Elementary School's playground. Raise your hand if your supplies are already out. And, and even ready. more clear in the classroom. There's a lot of like kids in our class and sometimes it's very hard being a leader. But she has no choice but to be a leader. After all, Lillian Woodall is a third grader, the highest grade at Central Elementary. I like just meeting new friends and talking about ourselves and sending my friends. As Lillian focuses on friends, school officials are focusing on the heavy lifting. May I help you? Security. Before stepping foot into any Beach Grove school, you first have to get through the buzz-in entry. At the high school, you first go through the main doors, and there's a second secure entry to gain access to classrooms. And new this year, 30 security cameras watch over the high school and middle school. Superintendent Dr. Paul Kaiser wants them in all of the district's five schools this year. If kids know that there's cameras in the building, sometimes they're less likely to do silly, stupid things. Uh, but more importantly, uh, if there is a crisis that happens, uh, I can pull out my cell phone, I can see any camera in the building. Police have access to the surveillance video. And speaking of police, there are two Beach Grove police officers who watch over the high school and middle school. Dr. Kaiser is hoping to expand resource officers to all schools as well. In addition to security, the district is also implementing what they refer to as a proactive approach, social and emotional learning. They're spending close to $500,000 on that effort. Over four years, the district will use the grant money on things like training for all staff and additional counselors. School safety goes in a lot of different ways. It's getting parents and kids in and out of campuses safely. Safely, so that Lillian can focus on what's important, like leadership. If you're being nice and you can just say, hey, do you want to be nice? Because I don't think you're going to get any friends if you're just being mean. That was News 8's Elizabeth Troy reporting. Beach Grove also received 10 handheld metal detectors. The superintendent says since the state was giving them away, he accepted. But specialized training and more manpower is required before they can start using them. And how